Hey everybody, Justin here. Today we're gonna to go over the top five reasons you're not losing weight. And that number starts with number five, which is you haven't changed anything to do so. If you keep thinking that you're gonna do the same thing that you did before and expect results or weight loss, then you're sadly mistaken. The literal definition of insanity is doing the same thing repetitively, expecting a different outcome every time. So if you're not doing anything different than you did before you started your journey, you're not going to lose weight. Number four, your workout intensity. If you're working out, but you're not challenging yourself, then you're setting yourself up for failure. If you're not doing something to cause your body to adapt to what it's doing, then your body's not gonna change. Your body composition will remain the same. With that terminology of body composition is where I'm gonna redefine your terminology of losing weight. You don't wanna necessarily just lose weight. You can lose weight in many different ways, which is include water weight, fat loss, or you can even lose in muscle. So don't go by the number on the scale because that number represents so many different factors. So I want you to redefine the term losing weight and rather use the term fat loss. With that being said, if you're not doing anything to cause your body to adapt, for example, in bodybuilding, lifting weights, you're creating micro tears when you contract the muscles when lifting weights, where when you properly rest and properly give your body nutrition that it needs to repair itself, the body uses that to adapt to the workout, to become stronger, to become more muscled, so on and so forth. So it causes your body to adapt. If you're not doing anything like that and you're not challenging yourself enough in your workouts, then your body's not going to adapt, therefore cause you not to change your body composition or lose fat. That leads into number three. There's always the workout side, but that is only about 20% of the battle. Another 75% of the battle is your nutrition. If you're not eating right, if you're eating too many calories, or if you're just not tracking anything or watching what you eat, you'll not change anything. You can work out hours upon hours, but if you're eating more calories than you're burning, you'll not lose weight, you actually gain weight. For example, if I require 2,000 calories to maintain my current body weight, and I burn 2,000 calories, but I'm eating 2,500 calories, I'm gonna gain weight. But if I burn more than I eat, then I'll start losing weight, or again, like we'd learn better terminology, I'd start losing fat. The other 5% that's left over from your workout and your nutrition is supplementation. Now disclaimer, you do not need any type of supplementation to get results. It is only what the name refers to. It is a supplement to your workout and to your nutrition. If your workout and your nutrition is not in line, then supplementation is a waste of time and money. Now, if you start working out intensely enough to adapt, and then you are tracking what you're eating and eating properly, then supplementation can be that little extra icing on the cake for lack of better references. So with that being said, you need to watch what you eat. If you're eating too much, you're not gonna lose weight. But with all that said, all that is encompassed by number two. If you are not working out, watching your proper nutrition, or changing anything on a daily basis, then you're not what number two is, being consistent. You can do anything for a day, but that don't mean you're gonna get any results from it. It's not until you change your mindset and realize this is a marathon, not a sprint. You're not gonna get results in a day. Now, yes, you might lose a pound here, a pound there every once in a while, but will it last? No. You need to change your mindset and realize 
that this is a lifestyle. This is not just something you do for eight weeks and then stop. Now, some people are going to do that just for immediate gratification and then refer back to what they used to do and then just gain it all the way back. But if you want to keep those results and look good year round once you achieve your goals, then you need to be consistent. Consistency in your nutrition, your supplementation, and your workouts is what's going to, over a long run, get you the results you're looking for. But with all that being said, none of that matters if you don't have number one correct and in line. Before I reveal that, I want to let you know that if you like content like this, like and subscribe and comment below. So, have you done it? All right. With that being said, number one is the most important and it is the driving force for all the others in this list. And that is you haven't found why you're wanting to do it or you haven't found a strong enough why to keep you doing it. There's so many reasons why people want to lose weight or yes, there's a better terminology, lose fat. But if the why isn't strong enough to keep you consistent in all the other aspects of this list, then you're setting yourself up for failure. Now, every person has a different why. For example, some people are gonna lose weight just to look good. Some people wanna lose fat just to impress a girl or boy. Some people just want to have better health. Whatever your why is, it needs to be strong enough to make you realize that you're going to do this for the rest of your life. If you don't have a strong enough why, you're going to fail. Now, yes, some people are going to have gratification or results in the beginning. But again, like I said, if you're not consistent and do it for the rest of your life, you're just going to end up back in the rut you were when you started. So figure out why you're wanting to do this and make sure it's a strong enough why to keep you consistent in all the things that it requires to lose fat. With that being said, in the comments below, comment, why do you want to lose weight? What is the reason you want to lose fat and become a better version of yourself? If you like content like this, like I said, like and subscribe, comment some advice in the bottom. And also, owe y'all an apology. This is a week late. I've had some issues with my editing software, so from now on until we can get that fixed, I'm gonna have to do as many one takes as it takes to get the proper video. So, wish me luck and keep on holding on until we can get content rolling again. Until next time, stick around, and I hope to see you again next time.